The report claims millions of license plates are being photographed by law enforcement using special cameras. The pictures can be kept for decades. That's according to the American Civil Liberties Union. Our senior correspondent, John Miller, served in top positions at the New York and Los Angeles Police Departments. John, good morning. Good morning from Washington, Charlie. Oh, I was going to ask where you were, so it's good to know you're in Washington. Uh, let's begin with what, how does this work and what does it do for law enforcement? Well, this is a great tool, and this, uh, this is something we started using in the LAPD in the early 2000s. But what it is is basically it's cameras affixed to the front and sometimes the front and the back of a police car. And every car it passes, every car that passes it, it records the license plates and then runs it automatically against data. Is the car connected to a crime? Is it wanted for murder? Is the registration uh, suspended? And so on. So. Basically, what it has is it has a thousand eyes, it has a long memory, and one of its best qualities is when it's colorblind. When it says a car is suspicious, it's based on data. Does it stop crime? Well, it does. What it does is it recovers stolen cars faster than almost any other system. Uh, you know, right here in Washington, where they use it, they have a big stolen car problem and carjacking problem in Prince George's County. Uh, they've been recovering more stolen cars since they've started using the license plate readers. And now they're getting them when they're freshly stolen, as opposed to how they used to recover them uh, by the side of the road after they're stripped. But, John, what about privacy concerns? Innocent Americans who say, the government is taking pictures of my license plate, storing this data, and uh, that, that this is an invasion of people's uh, privacy. Okay, so on one hand, I say, so what? The license plate is a sign. You hang it on your car and then you drive it around in public. So what is your reasonable expectation of privacy while you drive around in public? Anybody can see your license plate. Um, the, the police chief's position on that is, I don't know where this expectation of privacy comes from. I think the ACLU's bigger push is on retention, which is how long do they keep this data and then could they use it? The ACLU says could keep it for decades. I mean, the system hasn't even existed for decades. Um, but could they use it to piece together someone's life or habits? And I have to tell you, you know, in L.A. when we used this, we actually used it to piece together the lives and habits of criminals, which was extraordinarily valuable. When we had a rash of burglaries in Bel Air, we put license plate readers at the main route in and the main route out, and then we would query the system. On the days when we had these burglaries, over a period of weeks and months, did the same car come only on the day of the burglary, right before the burglary, and leave right after? Um, it gave us the leads that actually led us to the burglar. So, it's a powerful tool, but it's going to need some standards. So the Supreme Court ruled last year that police need a court order in order to attach a GPS to a car. The ACLU has made the case, this is all, you can track someone's location just with these cameras. Do you think this becomes a bigger issue? I think, I think that it becomes one of those things where it's a new system and they're just starting to realize in, in the business of policing what the power of this tool is. That's usually a great time to attach policy and standards so you have those fence lines before you end up in court. On the other hand, there's a big difference between sticking a GPS device on somebody's car and you're not following it while you're home in bed, it's tracking where they're going and what they're doing from um, having something that spots it in public as the two cars encounter each other, where you don't really have an expectation that nobody's looking at you. John Miller, thank you.